7 Eyewitness News is going in depth for you. Charlie Specht continuing our coverage. Charlie, you've been looking through the jobs and all of the different commitments made by the different companies over at that Riverbend site. Well, you know, it's only been a few years since this factory was opened, but already four different companies have been involved. In 2013, Governor Andrew Cuomo announced that solar companies Sora and Salevo would relocate to South Buffalo, investing $1.5 billion and creating more than 800 jobs. But Sora pulled out of the project before it was built, and Salevo was bought by Solar City in 2014. Two years later, Solar City merged with Tesla. Panasonic entered the picture three years ago, but is already pulling up stakes. We asked the mayor whether all of this turnover bothers him. Is it frustrating to you at all that this industry, the tech industry, is so fluid and maybe not as permanent as, say, the steel industry or manufacturing, something like that? Certainly, the solar industry has shown some fluidity. The good news is that Panasonic um, is going to provide for the rehiring of its employees with a number of different um, options and services they will provide. Brown went on to say that the focus here really should be on the jobs that have been created at the site, which the state puts at 1,500. Now, coming up at 6, we're going to put some of those job promises to the test, and we also question the mayor about whether this claim that the Panasonic jobs won't in some way affect the Tesla operations is really true. Live in the studio, Charlie Speck, 7 Eyewitness News.